Thank you very much. And you have a record crowd here today, so that's a building that's not exactly brand new, it looks like. But the crowd is record, and uh, that's a long time. And thank you very much. And to the fire marshals and fire department and police and everybody else involved. A lot of people outside that couldn't get in. I want to thank everybody. And also to Chairman Schaefer for the tremendous leadership over the past four years. And thank you to the great state of Georgia. We love Georgia. We love Georgia. Great place. Great place. Keep America great again, he just said. Uh, it's a great state. We're also thrilled to be joined by the NRCC Chairman, Congressman Richard Hudson. Where is Richard? He's around here someplace. He is fantastic. Hello, Richard. Oh, there he is. We're going to his state in a couple of minutes, you know. We're going to be here, and we're going to North Carolina, and that'll be great. But, Richard, congratulations on a great job. In addition, today, I'm honored to receive the endorsements of some really incredible people, patriots, I would call them, Georgia patriots, including Representatives Mike Collins. Where's Mike? Where's Mike? Thank you, Mike. Great person. Thank you very much. And also, Andrew Clyde and Marjorie Taylor Greene. Thank you for those endorsements. Thank you very much for those endorsements, and uh, we love you people. That's a great group of patriots. And Speaking of patriots, and I met his father. I love his father, too. His father was really the man that gave him those genes, according, uh, according to the world. But I think the mother probably had an even bigger impact. Burt Jones, Lieutenant Governor Burt Jones. And uh, he comes from an incredible family. But Burt's done a fantastic job. And uh, he's going places. He's going, I've been saying that for a long time, and I've, so far I've been right. He's doing very popular and doing a great job as lieutenant governor, public service commissioner. The first person in this state to endorse me, Bubba McDonald. Bubba. Where's Bubba? There he is. Thank you, Bubba. And I like your jacket, Bubba. I also uh, want to thank very much, he's always been there, a real powerful strong person and a man who loves your state and loves our country, State Senator Brandon Beach. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Brandon. He's a great guy. For seven years, we've been engaged in an epic struggle to rescue our country from the sinister forces, women who hate it. They hate our country and who want to destroy it. Can be no other reason. These forces are far stronger than Russia, China, North Korea and Iran, all put together, think of that, from within is worse than from without. Because the right leader in America, if you have that leader, you're going to have no problems with those countries. We had no problems. We got it all straightened out. They understood. Would have never, ever had the problem with Russia, Ukraine. China right now is looking like they're going to do something, and they would have never even talked about it. Right now, however, they're putting us in the most in the history of our country, and that's to a large extent because of the kind of weaponry we're talking, that we're talking about. Together, we stand up to the globalists, we stand up to Marxists, we stand up to the rhinos. You know, the rhinos are pretty bad. Because with the rhinos, you don't exactly know where they're coming from. The others, you know, but with the rhinos, sometimes you find out. And we got to stand up to the rhinos, communists and environmental extremists. You know, you have environmental extremists, too. We stand up to the open borders fanatics, the radical left Democrats, their lawless partisan prosecutors, the prosecutors. Every time I fly over a blue state, I get a subpoena. <laughs> we want him before the grand jury. And we stand up to the fake news media, which is seriously bad. And on November 5th, 2024, we're going to stand up to the corrupt political establishment. We're going to evict a totally corrupt president, Joe Biden, from the White House. And we're going to finish the job that we started, the most successful presidency.